Welcome to one of the cornerstone cities for the NFL, Grim Bay, Wisconsin, home of the attackers. Also home of the first semi-successful head transplant, Grim. Yeah, whatever happened to that poor guy? Well, he did all right for himself. He's the state mascot for head cheese. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Los Angeles Dam take on the Grim Bay attackers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> and NFL Game Day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How are you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally crapping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. First and ten. And that pass is good for about five yards. Second down and five. And he breaks away. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And that'll bring up second and one. Four on that passing catch. And it looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. And the runner is moving crazy fast. Look at the pass. And he scores! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. And he's off to the races. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, nice time warp dirty. 
dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> oh, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Ah. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off of enemy players. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The defense just wanted it more and got it. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. And it's first and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next... And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First down and three. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. I don't think you can say that, Graham. Well, little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third down and three. <laughs> well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And it's first and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your 
wife hits the all you can eat buffet of crab apple tree bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me? She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me? running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. Second down in a lot. Kaboom! And the quarter... Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Third down and eight. The defender says, it's mine, and he comes, oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. QB passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Second down and nine. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. Third down and a pussy hair. Man, what a hit that was. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. It's a brutal hit. Third down and eight. If you don't hear it coming, and he's off to the races. Look, and the defense is on his heels. Third down and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Yeah. 
Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, nah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and that was a bone crusher right there, folks. With the vicious kill! Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. Second and three. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Touchdown! And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Dick's hotel party the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. He refuses to go to he hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. First and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. It's better to be lucky than good. Oh, nice hit. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Pow! Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs <clears throat> but uh, I mean he was a great ball player uh, you know that's really what counts at the end of the day right he is fighting for every yard <laughs> and we're at the two minute warning I gotta pee Second down in a very lot. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic.
The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, what could have survived so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim? And it's first and ten. Oh, my gosh! He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Ouch. What is this, Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. The quarterback avoids the rush. What? And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Third down and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snag. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. Second down. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> for big yardage on that play. They're back in. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. It's good. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they could start cheating and killing. That's what I do. They need a good return here to set up the offense. 
And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. And with another pick. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have fun. Is that right, Whip? That penalty makes no sense. Yeah, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. You know we tell you. Second down, the side defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, what a throw. Just cleared the field. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah. He's rumbling. Boom. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant. Bing, bing. was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Third down and eight. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Ah, another interception. You should give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. And he punched his way out of that tackle. And like Rick, he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outman. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he 
Detroit picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's gone berserk. The ball came. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. And they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. And they pull the That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Oh, man, Brooks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message. Because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. The offense is no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Chris? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf in the mutant farm league. I don't know if he's dancing or just marking his territory. <laughs> Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. He used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf once, Grim. He damn near clawed my face off. That was before the class even started. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Yeah. 
When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. He's got a receiver breaking open. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Third down and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about... One time, when I was playing, a guy... Oh, mama! Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. You know, that should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? You know, this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw... Pow! With the brain scrambler! First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Third down and three. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. First down and one.
We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, man. Second down and seven. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL isn't... And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can we all just... Not this shit again. Brex, I'm stopping it right there. He's gonna be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And he recovers the fumble and runs it back for a defensive score. That's a backbreaker for the offense. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Now, there are some who would argue that we should. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend, I didn't. I love this job. Second down in a very lot. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? He broke free and has open field in front of him. First down and five. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> the offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. And he finds open space. Is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! And he rips off a game breaking run for the score. Yeah, boo 
baby. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. to a one-hole highlight. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And the defense gets another pick. Man, no doubt about it. They me. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. That ball was almost intercepted. And the offense goes into their two minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopsing time. That's what At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. Go, go, I only need one man. more. You mistake, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Third down and long. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I top off my drink. Grab me a scotch while you're up. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. And it'd have been fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> when in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick.
The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Britz's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I th and that's another turnover for the defense. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. First and ten. Oh, the punishing hit. The quarterback goes down. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Second down and a lot. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? The defense calls a second time out. They really need to make a stop here. down and never going to happen. Boom! Dead and down! He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, it didn't work that time. It was close, though. Oh, yeah. oh. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. And that, ladies and mutants, is how you recover an onside kick. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. And he bursts into the end zone for the score! What a run! No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too bad for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just... The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. He refuses to go down. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And he breaks away. You usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. Put that one in the loss column. The Grim Bay attackers lose the game. And they lost me 50 bucks. It was close for a while, but in the end, it was just too much for them, and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got pills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a boner? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know. I get confused often. I'm on a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.